To analyze the atmospheric compositions of neighboring planets, astronomers are using NASA's latest space observatory, the James Webb Space Telescope. The atmospheric features may reveal a planet's origin story and whether or not it has the ingredients for life. A new study published in Nature Astronomy, led by researchers at the Center for Astrophysics at Harvard and the Smithsonian and the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, suggests that the methods astronomers typically use to decode planetary signals may not be sufficient for interpreting the data from the new telescope. In particular, the researchers note that the opacity models, which are used to represent how light interacts with matter as a function of the characteristics of matter, may need substantial refinement in order to match the accuracy of Webb's findings. If we don't get better models, what then? Temperature, pressure, and constituent composition, estimates for planetary atmospheres, are all believed to be wrong by an order of magnitude, according to the study. A material's opacity determines how easy light may travel through it, depending on whether and how they interact with molecules inside a material. Photons of different wavelengths may either flow through the substance unimpeded, be absorbed by the material, or be reflected back out. The temperature and pressure of a substance also affects this interaction. To understand spectral data from instruments like those on the Hubble Space Telescope, the team claims that the current state-of-the-art opacity model, which they compare to the traditional language translation tool, the Rosetta Stone, has done a respectable job. They demonstrate this in their research, in which they tested the most used opacity model. The researchers wanted to know what characteristics of the atmosphere the model would predict if it were modified to account for the current knowledge gaps on the interplay between light and matter. Eight such perturbed models were developed by the researchers. Then, they gave all the models including the genuine one, synthetic spectra, or artificial light patterns that mimic the James Webb's resolution but are simulated. They discovered that different disturbed models generated wildly different predictions for the atmospheric parameters of a planet using the same light spectra. The group finds from their research that an accuracy wall will be reached if standard opacity models are used to interpret light spectra collected by the Webb telescope. This means they won't be able to distinguish between, say, a planet with an atmospheric temperature of 300 Kelvin and 600 Kelvin, or between a gas making up 5% and 25% of a planet's atmosphere. Even while a modified model yielded a chemical composition that the researchers knew to be erroneous, it also yielded a light spectrum that was near enough to or fit with the actual spectrum, and this was discovered by the team as well. Researchers suggest collaborating across disciplines, especially between astronomy and spectroscopy, and doing additional laboratory experiments and theoretical calculations to clarify the model's assumptions about how light and other molecules interact. Robert Hargreaves, a study co-author and scientist at the Center for Astrophysics, adds, As we enter a new era of exoplanet research, JWST and future missions will provide unprecedented high-quality observations of exoplanet atmospheres. It is therefore necessary that we have appropriate spectroscopic data and models to accurately infer fundamental characteristics of these new worlds. Let us know what you think in the comment section below. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, check out our previous videos, and visit our website if you love reading at www.nasaspacenews.com. Thanks for watching.